in caustic art around Australia. This film is dedicated to Margaret and Ian Hesford, who travelled 30,000 kilometres in their mobile home around Australia and Tasmania, demonstrating in caustic art. <laughs> I hope that um, our experience will inspire other people to um, discover and develop their artistic talents. been able to give to other people through encaustic art has been returned tenfold. I think we're making a little bit of inroads in such a large country. We started and 99.9% .9 of people we spoke to have never seen in Costa Garden. I'm just going to do a landscape here using um, some beautiful indigo blue and putting the wax on to create the sky. You can just wipe that across the top of the card and create the sky. And now we're going to put some hills into the picture. It's quite simple just by moving the iron across and using the side of the iron to form the hill shape. You can pick it up now and put a few bushes on the hills before I go any further. I think this looks as if it should have a nice water scene, so I'm going to turn this into water. This is when I decide what the picture's going to be after I've done the, the hills. I must admit water pictures are very popular and because we're an island in Australia we have lots of water and we live quite close to the water, so it features a lot in my paintings. I've got a shoreline there now, I'm going to put a little bit of foliage in the foreground, quite simply dabbing it on. By using only one colour, we're actually proving what wax and technique can do uh, without having lots of colour. And because I'm using a card that doesn't absorb the colour, we get a beautiful light background. A few bushes on the side now would be appropriate. We can make some beautiful long leaves just by using the side of the iron, twisting and turning. Put a little bit more on the base to make, to bed this little clump down. I'm using a stylus to create the tree. I just rest that onto the block of wax and it has a, a slot in the nib so it will pick up the wax almost like the old fountain pen and I can use that to create a tree. You can twist it and turn it and it makes lovely um, areas to add branches without worrying too much about it. We need to actually broaden out the base of the tree a little because uh, we don't want it blowing over in a gale. Don't really need too many branches because I'm going to put some leaves on the tree. The stylus does take a wire brush which is very good for doing certain things, but because we have so many gum trees in Australia and uh, they're very popular in pictures, I like to use an ordinary stipple brush, which is a, was originally a long-handled stipple brush for using with oil paints. So by just putting some of that onto the iron in its upturned position, dabbing into the wax, we can quickly put on bushes that, or leaves that are nicely rounded. And there's the gum tree. The trunk's looking a little bit dark and uninteresting, so we'll scribe a little bit of colour into that by using a brass scriber, which takes off the wax. As you can see, the wax is already set. I'll just smooth that out a little. Now the final touch is a bird. 
There was a little bit of fear and trepidation of this because it's the last thing we do and it can spoil the whole picture. But I'd like to put a rock in this corner, a bit too much bush around, so there's a rock in the corner. And that is simply the finished picture. The final polish gives that lovely luster to the picture. So that was done in two colours, just clear and indigo blue. A little signature in the corner and there's an original never to be repeated again. What do you find inspiring about encaustic art? I think the speed and the ease of which one can create an image and change it until it is satisfying to the, the artist. And the other thing is that without having to have any professional training, people can just pick up and learn how to do this art form and take it as far as they want. Now what I'm going to do is take to some Australian colours. So we're going to use some uh, warm sunburnt country colours. To do that I'm going to use some, um, some white, just to reduce the intensity of the colour of the sky. And to put a little bit of this beautiful vermilion colour on, plus some yellowy colour. Drag that across for the sky. We'll make this into a, a lovely early morning sunrise, I think. Put some darker colour on here for the hills. Again, I'm repeating the same technique because these are the basic strokes really that you need to uh, perfect uh, to create landscapes. Again, I'll put some bushes on the hills. This has to go on now, of course, because I can't get back to it with the iron later. I'm still going to um, turn it into a water. So again, the foliage. Sometimes I do devil's marbles, which are a typical Australian type of rock, quite rounded, but they take quite a while to do, so... I don't feel like there's time today to go into that. There we have it in the traditional colours. I'm going to put a rock here in this corner. There is a smaller tool that goes in the stylus that is good to make smaller rocks, but that's much easier than changing the stylus. Now we're going to again use some foliage. This time we're going to have some more rigid leaves. We're going to introduce some yellow to this and some bronze. These can look quite effective done with the, the brush in the stylus because we can then drag out the wax and make feathery plants. So we've got a bare tree here. And I remember travelling through Australia recently where bushfires had been and there were so many blackened trees that that has inspired me to do a lot more bare trees. The stylus will suck up more wax uh, and it doesn't come out of the slot until the slot is actually in contact with a card. So it's an easy tool to use and an adjunct to those who can draw. And this time I'm going to do a bird with the stylus. Okay, and we're going to take I'm known in Australia as the lady of the three birds. Because that's what I mostly do, three birds. I don't like the base of this tree, so we're going to hide it behind that rock. Just need to add a little bit more bronze to this and a bit of the darker brown. Got a little bit too much yellow in the corner. The beauty of this, of course, is that it only takes a touch with the iron and you can correct your errors. And there's a little bit of our Australian inland colours. I can understand exactly how you feel about it because I know I feel the same way. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank That's you wonderful. very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye for now.